Art on the Beach 2022. It was a really exciting thing to, to have five events in three days. It wasn't just the art on the beach, but it was also, you know, the workshop where we married two different disciplines of, of printing and involved the public in that, and they got to create. To participate in this ultimately collaborative project was really probably for me the most fun. This was not only a collaboration between artists and ecologists, but also with the community. Just in terms of size, in terms of collaborating with other people in a drawing, it's just really a wonderful thing to do. And I think that in terms of a learning experience, you know, that's about as good as it gets. The beach is really this place of discovery. It's, it's almost a portal into our ocean world. You're hearing the ocean. You know the tide is coming in. You are right at the doorstep of this kelp world. So we take this flat palette that most people think of as just a great place to walk or run or their dogs or whatever it is, and you turn it into an interpretation of that where you're really bringing this land-sea connection right up in people's faces when they don't expect it. It's like an enormous petroglyph relating directly to something in the world nearby. The next day, we free-handed sea stars onto the beach, anywhere from a couple, three, four feet in diameter up to, you know, 30 feet in diameter. And there was a big wind that came up. That wind began to dry the sand on these raised areas. So the stars became animate at that time. You know, they began to grow. They began to change shapes. People come to understand what it means to them. Yeah, macro and microalgae create 70% of the oxygen on the planet. I now have a relationship with them that I didn't have before. It takes them into a whole environmental pattern that they may never have participated in. And I think that when you have something like that, that people learn in uh, a really very different ways. Everybody that comes in contact with this event wants to be part of creation. Right? So we made a community circle this time, and it was for people that had an urge, they could pick up a chopstick and uh, draw in this big circle. That feeling of camaraderie and partnership and collaboration uh, on all aspects of this project was really, for me, just an absolute delight. I think it was our biggest event of the year for the Cascade Head Biosphere Collaborative. Like we were in the right place, in the right community at the right time.